Y'all rushed me the whole time. What's up, y'all? It's Tiffany Shanice back with another quick little tutorial video on together. my Thanksgiving you with know, my family. So, what we're going to be making is some mashed potatoes, some loaded mac and cheese, some um, yams with some marshmallows, some country um, greens. They didn't have any, just mustard. We're going to be making some dressing and some baked beans. Starting off with the dressing, we're going to cut the celery and we're going to saute it in some butter and some garlic. Added chicken, polo seasoning, and season the salt to this too. While I'm cutting up my celery, I am boiling my chicken and my eggs um, to put inside my dressing. Then you gotta rip the chicken, girl. Rip all that chicken. Keep cutting. Mm-hmm. Just keep ripping it. You know, it's a hassle, but just keep doing it, girl. It's gonna taste good in your dressing. Just think about that. But you have the chicken, the eggs, the celery, the cornbread all shredded up and mixed together. You add some chicken broth to top it off and some more seasoning if you like. And then you let it sit in the oven for 35 to 45 minutes until golden brown. Now with the beans, I started getting lazy. Um, I'm pretty sure you already know that you need to ground up the ground beef. It needs to be um, cooked. I cut up the bell peppers and then I put it inside the beans. But we're not done yet. We have to add the honey and we have to add the brown sugar inside of the beans because they're not done yet. It's definitely not barbecue beans if you don't add no barbecue, girl. I know that the beans kind of have a barbecue taste to it, but it's not that. It's not it, sis. So you got to add some barbecue sauce to that. You sit that right alongside the dressing and let it bake for like 40 minutes. So these are country greens with some ham hocks that was on the stove for two hours, some bacon, some um, peppers, and some seasoning. Oh, you thought I was finished, huh? So these are some mashed potatoes. I'll call them creamy mashed potatoes because I put butter in there, some seasoning, as in salt and pepper, and some sour cream. It makes it more fluffier for me and gives it a better taste. Oh, also milk. You have to have milk. If you really want to get fancy, you can start adding like garlic and stuff into it, put some cheese on top of it. But you know, I was just trying to keep it simple and cute the mac and cheese Thanksgiving morning because I wanted it to be fresh and good. So my pasta is all finished. I'm going to layer the bottom layer of the pan in some Mexican style for cheeses and some Velveeta. The Velveeta I put in the microwave um, and put some pepper in there and some salt.
after I poured the pasta into the, the pan, I poured milk on top of the pasta, and then <laughs> I layered it. I layered it with the four cheeses and the Velveeta cheese again, and then I added the rest of the Velveeta cheese and some butter, and I put it in the microwave again, put it on two minutes, let it melt, put some milk in there, let it melt again, and then I poured it all on top of it. So the ingredients for the candy yams is brown sugar, nutmeg, um, pumpkin spice, um, some honey, marshmallows. Did I forget something? Okay guys, that sums up my Thanksgiving meal that I did for me, we my sister, together. my nephew when you I visit them in New Mexico. Colorful. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a like, comment, and make sure you subscribe. Thank you.